What's up everyone, this is Hemorrhoid, aka Deep Fryer, bringing you another, well, you know what this is, this is another Super String video. The brand new update is live now, we've got new universe uh, effects, awakening universe effects, boosting our entire roster, so I hope you guys are enjoying that and getting some uh, good, some good buffs and good rewards. Now I will tell you that this new Spring Roulette event is um, its a little skewed toward the credits and the plasma. I burned through about 150 tickets and I got about 70% credits and 30% plasma. So if you're expecting a ton of nanos, SS tickets, Titan, uh, EX boxes, you know, maybe... Uh, Maybe temper your expectations just a little bit. Uh, but that's not what we're talking about tonight. Tonight, we are talking about one of my absolute favorite game modes, and that's Event PvP. In Event PvP, you go up against a live person, and both persons, both parties, get to choose one SS unit, two S units, and one A unit, and you have to choose from three random units in each unit uh, category, SS, S, and A. So you can't really hand pick your team and use advanced strategies like normal PvP gameplay or skirmish gameplay, uh, which may sound a little daunting at first, but it truly makes for some very uh, very interesting matchups. I have had some of the most fun uh, in this game playing event PvP, especially when there are very close matchups. There can be some very unique matchups. And honestly, this is about the only game mode that we English speakers are going to be on even footing with the Koreans. Now, we have a time limit on choosing these agents. So I may talk kind of fast, so I hope you can keep up with me. Um, I'm going to choose Yunbit Nara just because I know that she can make herself immune to debuffs and do some uh, really good crit damage. Now, Yongsil is really good in event PvP, not so much elsewhere because there are better stunning units. But in event PvP, since you were limited on who you can pick, he can be very, very strong. I'm also going to go with Dokeman. Um, other than his hot dog fetish, he can be incredibly good at shielding your units in event PvP. Now, Samus has uh, Savage Damage 1, Akawa has really good debuffs, and Lu is a decent tank with defense down. I'm going to go with Akawa just because I really like uh, stacking up those debuffs in event PvP. Because since your opponent doesn't know what agents you're picking, they may not have a cleanser, they may not have an answer for your debuffs. So let's see what we've got. Oh gosh, it's Agite. I hate seeing that, uh, that guy. Anyway, this is interesting. We may or may not win this. Let's open with Dopeman's um, uh, guard ability. By the way, tonight's video is going to be a little bit more laid back. Like I said, it's after 2 a.m. Uh, I've been enjoying the new update, and it's late, so let's see here. Well, we're taunted, so there's not much else we can do. Let's use our ultimate on Lee. We've got the stun, which is not a huge deal on Lee, but we'll take it. We'll take what we can get in event PvP, basically. And uh, as part of the celebration, since it's after 2 a.m., I am, am having a little bit of Kool-Aid, so I hope you guys don't mind. Now, looks like Dokeman is nearly dead. But we're going to go ahead and go into blackout mode with Bitnara. And we're going to lay down some debuffs, some damage over time from Aikawa. Let's see if we can maybe kind of turn the tide and get this fight into our favor. 
Now here's where we're going to find out which Agite we're up against. Are we up against Ring Agite or are we up against Glasses Agite? There's a big difference. And he used Plane Attack, so they're trying to kind of play it close to the chest and not let us know which Agite we've got there. So... Not much else we can do. Let's go ahead and stun him again, his tank. Now, Taeyu does incredible ultimate damage if you are debuffed, but we didn't have any debuffs, so he's probably trying to save his ultimate. Okay, Ajite has stunned with skill 2, so that means we're dealing with the ring, Ajite, which means he's going to resurrect when we bring him to zero hit points. And he's going to cleanse his debuffs, and there's not a lot we can do about it because we don't have any Oblivion. So honestly, we are probably... What just happened there? Okay, I'm very confused. Why didn't Agite resurrect? I am so lost right now, guys. I am, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am incredibly lost. I have no idea why Agite didn't resurrect. I know he had to have the Ring EX because his skill 2 stunned instead of shocking. Which, Wansu was about to kill me anyway. We're going to lose this match. But I'm very curious why Agite didn't resurrect there because I'm about to build Agite. Well, I've already built him. I'm about to um, max his skills. So if he's got some kind of weird weakness I'm not aware of, I'm going to need to know that. So I'm a little confused right now. Um, but let's just press forward. There's nothing else we can do. Okay, so once again, talking kind of quickly because we have a lim limited time. So we have turn meter Hasiwu. And we've got the boss dude, Hey Myong, but we're gonna go with um, Hyon because, gosh, he's just the best defensive tank in the game. Uh, we're gonna go with Jin Suho because he can apply the damage received buff. We're gonna go with Ms. Huang because she can apply AoE bomb and detonate them the following turn. So all three of those agents, I really like those three agents. We're going to go with Uchida for the freeze and the defense down. I think we have a pretty strong team, but let's see who we're up against. Probably a bunch of immortals like last time, but, you know, what can you do? Okay, we're up against Sopan. We've got one stun on Jin Suho to try to deal with Sokwon. We don't have Oblivion, unfortunately. Um, you know, the enemy goes next. The next three turns is the enemy. So we are going to go ahead and use our superhero uh, skill to guard our team. Because, like I said, the next three turns uh, are going to be the enemy's turns. If you didn't know that, down here at the bottom, this turn, uh, turn order uh, preview menu tells you who is going next. So since Hyon uh, was able to guard our team, we're still in pretty decent shape, even though three out of four of our opponents have taken their turn. So we are going to use, we are going to throw down some AoE bomb from this Huang. Even though it's tempting to lay down a uh, plus damage received debuff with Jin Suho's ultimate, I really want to stun So Kwan. I don't want him retaliating, and I, I just want to stun him. I just want to stun him. Let's see if we can freeze a few people. We did freeze some people. That's great. That's what we're looking for. Now, let's use our AoE taunt. Hopefully we can apply some attack down also. That's great. That's good. That's what we want to see. Okay. Okay, tell you, who are you attacking? Okay, you're taunted, obviously, so you're attacking. Hi on. 
Okay, um, we are out of octoparticles for Hyon, so he's gonna start taking some damage now. So let's AoE detonate our bombs. I love this move from this plane. Uh, oh, that's just fantastic. That's amazing, guys. Sokwan is stunned. Oh. Miss Wang has incredible potential if you can get through two turns. The problem with uh, PV regular PvP is... I'm gonna actually dispel Sokwan's defense buff right here. The problem with regular PvP is oftentimes by the time you've had one or two turns, the fight's almost over pretty much. So those bomb teams and damage over time teams are uh, difficult to pull off, but but Miss Wang has a lot of potential because she lays the bombs and she detonates them. A lot of times a unit can be exceptionally good at laying the bombs but doesn't detonate, or vice versa. But Miss Wang does both. See if we can uh, get rid of Soquan here in the next turn or so. Yeah, I knew that was coming. That's okay. Guys, I'm pretty sure we've got this map. I'm pretty sure we've got this one. Yeah, we've got this one. So, this is good. And the opponent quit. And that's okay. You know, you've got to optimize your time when it comes to gaming. You may not have hours upon hours a day to play a video game. So if you realize there is literally no hope of winning at that point, sometimes it's best just to quit. I do it, and you guys probably do it too. So there's no shame in that. In fact, if... If you are on the winning side of the equation and someone quits, I mean, ask yourself, do you mind if someone quits or, or are you okay with it? Me personally, I'm okay with it because it saves a little bit of time. We're all just trying to get through our daily, uh, our daily quests. We're trying to get our daily rewards. So there's nothing wrong with trying to streamline that process a little bit. So I wouldn't hold it against anyone. So let's, uh, let's do one more match here. Lily is tempting, Joan Younghouse tempting. Okay, we've got one Hayo with the confusion effect. So I'm gonna go with that. It may be a mistake. I'm thinking I might should have gone with Lily. But I'm gonna take Mamiya as well. She's got savage damage on her ultimate and a cleanse. Um, speaking of clans, it's tempting to take Char Yaren here, but I'm gonna take Yuite because he's got Oblivion. Oblivion is incredibly useful in event PvP and really everywhere. But let's take let's take a tank into battle. Actually, a decent tank for uh, for uh, event PvP. AOE taunt. Lee isn't bad. Lee is not bad at all. Okay. Speaking of which, we're going first. Let's taunt Cuckoo because Cuckoo uh, may be a bit underrated. Cuckoo does some pretty insane damage. A little bit RNG dependent on whether or not he, he hits that 50%. Uh, he or she, I'm honestly not sure what gender Cuckoo is. Um, but anyway. A little bit RNG dependent, but potential for some really crazy DPS. Teaming up with Diana, that's very interesting. Typically, I'm not threatened by Diana. Um, not a lot going on here, so I'm just going to use a plain attack. Typically, I'm not threatened by Diana because she's very dependent on a heavy burn team, so she's not great in event PvP since you can't control what units you're picking, so you don't know that you're gonna have burn units. Uh, but with Cuckoo teamed up with her, she becomes a bit of a threat. So I need to take out either her or Cuckoo. Um, 
Okay, I'm gonna heal and cleanse our tank. I may regret that in a minute if we lose, but I'm gonna take a gamble and try to taunt some of those attackers because they are going to wreak havoc on my team if I'm not careful. We've got Cuckoo going soon, so we're gonna re-taunt Cuckoo, put two turns of taunt on Cuckoo. We're gonna see what Eddie does. This move right here, that has potential to do crazy, crazy DPS if you're not careful. Do another plane attack to try to heal up. Now since this attack does damage to two enemies, skill 3 on uh, Mamiya, or Mamiya, I am going to use it and hope we hit one of their attackers. Okay. Now. Okay, here is where... We hope to do some serious DPS to some of these enemies. We missed. We missed. I was really hoping to get some good RNG there. And we missed. Warhio can be a little unpredictable in the hit or miss category with that EX. So, we had some bad luck there. That's okay. We're not out of the fight yet. But it's not looking good at this moment. Let's see here. We got spell buff. We've got oblivion. Let's. Oblivion doesn't know, do a lot for us right now. I'm still just gonna go with plain attack to try to heal. Um, we really need to get rid of Eddie. He's starting to get on my nerves with all these taunts. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my ultimate on Eddie, even though I have a unit type disadvantage. I think the savage damage is enough to kill him. And it was. Okay, very good. Very good. That's what I was looking for. So now, the battle is starting to look a little bit more in our favor. They are... Uh, our opponent is targeting Yuite. Normally, I would save his resurrect for a little bit later, later in the fight when maybe two or more people have died. But I believe our opponent knows Yuite has this Resurrect. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use it to bring Lee back into the fight. And hopefully distract our opponent a little bit and give us time to take down one or two more of their units. That retaliate from one Hyella. I love to see that because it's damage you might not have been expecting. And when it happens, it's just gravy. Okay, so let's see here. Alright, we've got Sopan out of the picture. We've taunted Cuckoo. We've got some debuffs on Diana. I think we're in good shape. I think we're in good shape. Uh, we are not in the greatest of shape right now. Let's see what happens. Let's use plain attack to, to try to heal a little bit. So we killed Diana. And now. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. This is why these event PvP matches are so fun. You can be down to the wire like this, thinking that you've lost. But a little bit of RNG, a little bit of hope comes your way. And you win. So... It can be incredibly fun in that aspect. We have a three win streak. We need five wins to get our genes. I would really like to have those genes. Let's not lie. I'm going to get those genes one way or another. I have to sit here all night. And hopefully I don't have to sit here all night because I'm a little sleepy. Uh, don't get me wrong. Hanging out with you guys is very exhilarating. And it's keeping me going. But, tomorrow morning comes early, so let's try to wrap this up if we possibly can. Looking for another opponent. Sometimes it's a bit of a waiting game. Korean opponent, don't worry, they won't see us coming. Now. Okay, we've got Shock Min, which has debuff, or I'm not sorry, not debuff block. 
buff block on his ultimate, but I'm gonna take Yak. And no, it's not because he has immaculate hair. It's because he has AOE silence. Gosh, what a strong skill. Now, Miss Huang and Dokeman and Yuite, very hard choice. I'm going to take Miss Huang because I'm really enjoying her lately with the bombs. I'm going to take one Soul because Immortal units are very, very strong. I really wish I had an option for a tank for my A agents, but I don't. So I'm going to go with Uchida. Let's hope, let's hope they are not attack unit heavy because it would be great to have a tank versus attack unit. The only attack unit they have is Kira, and I can dispel Kira's Immortal with Uchida. Uchida's second skill has dispel. So this is really good news. Really, really good news. Okay, this is okay. They have made a mistake. Unless they can stun Uchida. That is their only hope to stun Uchida. They're trying to. They did not get the stun on Uchida. Okay. This is interesting. I'm going to teach you guys something. Uh, Kang Suho has a move that does more damage if he has missing hit points. So even though it's tempting to hit him hard right now, I'm going to hit someone outside of PvP mode so that he doesn't lose hit points. I'm trying to basically wait out the PvP mode. Now, um, let's go ahead and let's, let's try to silence. Let's try to silence the opposing team and see how many procs we get on it. Okay, we got the two we wanted. I got the two procs on the damage received and the silence that I wanted because Kira is honestly about to die because I can dispel the immortal now don't let this fool you don't let you don't let this make you think that Kira is not a good unit because Kira is best of the best when it comes to a raid and abyss okay you absolutely need Kira you need to max Kira's skills and you need to put all crit damage on Kira but, in event PvP, it just so happens I had to spell. So I was able to use that to my advantage. Um, so let's try... I want to get rid of Young Sil because he has that stun on his plane attack. And I really don't like that. And now, let's see here. Let's see if we can detonate this bomb on Ponzo and yes yes we are in very good shape very good shape now watch this Kang Suho still did a ton of damage even though he wasn't missing hit points so that's okay but he knew that it was hopeless at this point because I had already taken out too many of his uh, units I use the pronoun his and him. I know it could be a female, I am sorry about that, but it's just a way to generally refer to someone, you know, for me. I'm not trying to be, you know, uh, exclusionary or anything like that. So, all right guys, we've got four wins. We're really making progress here. We are this close to being able to get some sleep. Um, so anyway, if you want, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this new update. Uh, I think it's pretty good because Chapter 8, uh, I already cleared Chapter 8 on normal. I probably could have cleared it on hard, but I was a little hesitant to do it just yet because I still had some agents that I was wanting to boost up a little bit. Uh, but now with these Awakening Universe Agent bonuses, I believe that it's pretty much time to do Chapter 8 Hard Difficulty. I don't know about Hardcore yet, that's a little scary. We'll have to talk about that at a later date. Okay. Um, we've got 
Inferno Van. I love Inferno Van so much. I love Lilia, but honestly, Kang Suho is is a really great unit to use in event PvP because you can isolate their DPS. And even though I knew how to handle Kang Suho last um, on, in the last match, that doesn't mean your opponent is always going to use him correctly. I run into people not using him correctly all the time. Uh, I'm going to actually take Kira. I'm going to gamble that our opponent might not have a Dispel Agent. I'm going to gamble with Kira, and I'm going to take Osajong. Now, I don't have an Oblivion, which concerns me a little bit. I don't have a Cleanser, which also concerns me a little bit. But sometimes you have to take the loss if you don't get good luck with the agents you have to choose from. Now, fortunately, it does not look like our team, our uh, opposing team, is debuff heavy. So we're good there with the cleanser, with lacking a cleanser. Now, Ellen Mona is one of the best uh, AOE DPS. So we're gonna shut her down with Kang Suho. That's got to be frustrating for our opponent because they were probably counting on Ellen Mona to lay down that AOE DPS, and we have to shut that down for at least three turns with Kang Uh And now, Pyong Gang cannot use her Resurrect ability on Elamona because Elamona is locked in PvP mode. Now, here we see the enemy is going next for the next two turns. So I'm going to use uh, Katarina's uh, Increased Turn Meter ability and I'm going to make myself go first. We are going to go ahead and go immor Immortal with Kira since I know uh, the enemy does not have a strong Dispel unit and we are going to two turns stun the tank. The reason I'm stunning the tank is because I don't want the tank to stun Kira. I want Kira to be able to choose who she kills next turn because we all know Kira is going to kill the next person she attacks as long as she maintains her immortal uh, buff. And in, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go for Pyongyang because I don't want the enemy to be able to heal up. Okay, now here's where some people make mistakes with Kang Suho. You might be tempted to use his skill 3 and do that 180% damage, but if you look, Revenge Damage deals two times our missing hit point percentage as extra damage. So you don't want to use that right away. You want to open with one or two regular attacks depending on how many turns of PvP mode you have, which is dependent upon how many skill points you have invested in Kang Suho's skill 4. Um, so, that is why you want to use one or two regular attacks before you use your revenge damage. One high O is going to try to do some damage to our team. Um, she, uh, he almost killed Osa Jong, but we're still alive. And now, we are going to throw down... <laughs> <laughs> Let's put a crit damage boost on Kira, because why not? Why not? Let's just make sure Pyongyang dies, okay? There we go. Now, let's stun the tank. And we still have two more turns of PvP, this turn and next turn. And I still have plenty of hit points on Kang Suho, so I'm still going to use a plain attack. See, we're still in PvP mode because event PvP automatically gives you maxed skills. And our opponent knew that they were doomed. So they went ahead and let us have this one. So there you have it, folks. I hope this helps you uh, kind of formulate some strategies for event PvP and have a little bit of uh, a little bit more understanding of what you need to be looking for in a PvP. 
So anyway, I guess I'm going to call it a night and get some sleep and, you know, you guys do whatever it is you need to do. But make sure you play some Super String. Make sure you do your co-op bosses. And we will talk to you next time. This is Hemroid. Out. I'm gonna go for Young Seal. I'm gonna try to kill him first just because just because I don't want him stunning my team all the time. Um with Hasiwu, I'm gonna increase Oh, you know what? I forgot to check Hasiwu's EX. This is not <laughs> This is not the increased turn meter Hasiwu. I bet some of you guys have done that before. Okay, well, this fight just got a lot more interesting. I thought I was going to be okay, um, but this fight just got a lot more interesting, and I'll bring to that. Yeah, okay. Bit of a noob move. Gonna have to take my hat off for this one. <laughs>